here for Lydia Valentin for Spain. Her opening clean and jerk attempt. Yes, snatched a personal best of 105. Just a kilo above what she'd previously done. Well, that's disappointing. Very disappointing. She's starting on a, a weight which she has achieved. Achieved this in Sofia, went to 117 at the Junior World Championship, so just lost her way there. Yes, obviously much, much stronger in the in the first phase of the competition, the snatch. You'd normally expect to see at least 20 to 30 kilos difference between the snatch and the clean and jerk. Yeah, and it just looks for the moment that nobody else wants 115. So a setback, it happens. It's how you deal with the setback. Never really got it onto her shoulders at all. Clean and jerk is one of those exercises, though. If, you, if, you, if you're not 100% focused on what you're doing, it just doesn't happen. The weights are so, so heavy. Everything's got to be right. So, locks on. Better. Adjust, hands out. Just makes the distance shorter. Just a great pity that she didn't do that the first time. Yes, so clearly disappointed, but of course she, she can jump as much as she wants. If she wants to go to the weight she was originally going to do on her third attempt, she can now do that because she has a total of 220. Yeah, 220, but she was looking for 230, and, you know, those that failure, the third snatch, and this first costly failure here on the clean and jerk phase really... That probably denied her, realistically, David, any chance of getting to 230 because she'd have to take a full 10 kilos now to reach that mark, and I don't think that's realistic. Five, maybe. I think I'd like to see her go for five to, you know, to push herself. She's done 117. If she's in any sort of shape, as she was for the Junior World Championship, she ought to be able to manage 120 now. It's just a question of whether, whether in her head, as well as in her body, she's up for that sort of weight. Definitely going to 120. I don't think this will probably be Japan. Yeah, Imahoko. Ended up with 105 kilos, so this would be for 225. She's also looking for a 230 total. So in her case, if she gets this one, then the opportunity is hopefully for her straightforward. And she could get further than 230, maybe even to 235, which again is another big step forward It's interesting, David, when you watch uh, some of these lifters, the way they address the bar. You can respect it. You mustn't be afraid of it. But neither, in a way, is it your friend. Because <laughs> you have to attack it. <laughs> so that's good. Secures the total. 225. Onwards. 2-1. to one. Central referee didn't like it. Now, Rumiana Nekova, Pet 
sorry, not Nikova, Petkova. Yes, a bit down on her best, only managed a snatch of 107, and the best of 112. So also coming in at 120. Oh, well, I can't see that that's got to be an O-lift. That left arm yeah. unlocked and then locked again. And I think the coach knows that it's an O-lift as yeah. well. Three, three reds. So she'll have to do that again. Yeah, sorry to confuse her with Rumiana Nekova, who's um, Bulgarian rowing single scholar, Olympic silver medalist and double world champion. Slightly different in stature. <laughs> Peckover not having a great day, I have to say. But then, as well, we've said, I almost... Any of the Bulgarians. No, no, we've said it ad nauseam. They have enough, having a, a tough time of it. Good to see the hall filling up. I think... Uh, a lot of people have uh, got the buzz about this category. Just be really interesting to see backstage, wouldn't it? Just to see the big three going through their warm up, just to see if we could, you know, detect is everybody on form? What are they thinking? Instead of. Uh, Staying out here for a few minutes. It'd just be really interesting to just see that backstage now. And I think when we when we come to you know those big moments, to you almost want a split screen, don't you? So you can watch the lifter on the stage and the and the you know their their rivals backstage. Well, she responds. I'll give her that. Yeah, it's good enough. But again, you, you're looking at a lifter who lost an opportunity. So the predicted 120, which could give her a total of 225. Lydia Valentin for Spain. Which is still actually more than she's done. It is, in terms of personal best, so yes, in that regard. But not to happen, and I'm afraid it's, one, it's 220 she ends on, and 220 isn't as good as the 221 she lifted at the Junior Worlds. So the day, I'm afraid, has rather petered out for this 20-year-old Spanish woman. And you can see on her face there the disappointment. I think it's especially hard in a sport like weightlifting, David, when things don't go your way and you don't have a great day because we were talking about the number of opportunities that you have to lift on a major championship stage. It's not a, it's not a sport where you can come out the next day and, you know, put it, put it to rights and cheer yourself up if you've had a horrible time. You know, you, you know we're talking about weeks and months before you get another opportunity and sometimes years. Mm. So, Madeline Yamashi, now for the Cameroons. 96 kilos she brings forward to the second half of the competition, but this may well be more to her liking. She's capable, certainly capable of 130. Yeah. 
122. So she's trying to edge herself up to well as close as she can to get her to her enter total of 230 as well. But the snatch phase was not as good as we hoped for for her. So no pressure, Rumiana. <laughs> I hate to say it, but she doesn't exactly exude confidence. Now, when you've been in this sort of situation, David, where you're under pressure for the third lift and your coaches are talking to you, how do, how do you deal with it? Just, just focus on the on the job in hand. But did you always listen to what they were saying? Yeah, I think so. Well, the Egyptians deciding where. Nala Ramadan should uh, begin her challenge. So, 124. Yes, 124 kilos. Third and final attempt. So she's got 120, hasn't she? Together with, with 107. 107, is it? Yeah. Yeah, 107, that's right. She was five off of her. Yeah, 227, yeah. So. 231. Yeah. That's the best it can be. Good lift. Yeah. That's okay. So 124 gives her, as you said, that finishing total of 231. It's four kilos below where she wanted to be as a minimum, but maybe we'll see better things from her in the spring. So now, one of the Commonwealth Games aspirants, Salaja Pujari for uh, India. Strong push, Deke, split. Strong push. Oh, well, it wasn't the best clean. Interesting, speaking to her in English. Yeah. Yeah, she got it. It all really went wrong here. Made it very, very difficult for herself. Yeah, I think the coaches' calls were a bit weak as well. <laughs> so, Imahoko, 125. Now, this would give her 230, and this would put a smack on her entry total, and she'd still have that third attempt to go a little bit further. Wow. 
She's got one more attempt at that weight. What do you say to a lifter, David, at this stage of her development, who is lifting here and trying to get 230, which is the total that she and her coaches are aiming for, but yet she can see a gulf up to 270. Possibly it'll be 280 by the time we finish this evening's competition. How do you how do you sort of inspire someone in a way to say, ultimately, if you work, you can get there? Because it can't apply to everybody. Well, I don't think it applies to um, to her. I don't I don't think it's that uh, simple. I don't think everybody uh, that, that that enters these competitions thinks for one minute that that, that they're ever going to be world champion. I think it's. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that do this for personal reasons. Some people would argue that it's that it's a phenomenal achievement to get into the final. Which it is. Which it is, exactly. Or to win a national championship. So I think there's different goals all the way up. And this woman will certainly realise that she's not going to ever be a world champion, but she could, she could win a gold at the Commonwealth Games. So, you know, everybody's got their own level of achievement, their own personal goals and motivations. One world champion. She's got a total of 218. Where this becomes interesting is uh, for her Commonwealth Games opponents, like Deborah Lovely, who for Australia, who um, was competing in the B group earlier, she totaled 210. And the other potential candidate is Sheba Daira Rajya for Nauru. I'm sure I've said that wrong, so I do apologize but it's really difficult to work it out, 204 kilos. And of course, this young woman, who this year in the Asian Championships totaled 239. So way down. Yeah, absolutely. Better clean this time though, now. Well, I'm not sure I'd give her that. I'm sure she's gonna get, and I think her coach is not sure either. Yeah. Press out. Well, well, you saw the expression on the cake. Yeah. Now, you see, this really annoys me. It's really annoying. It was clearly a press out. Good well, lift. We might might just get a chance to see it. Yeah, you can see it on the right arm, even on there, on the overhead shot. You know, and again, and again, you know, I've said it every day. I'll say it again. Get rid of the press out rule. They cannot referee it. They can't seem to, to, to get to grips with with being consistent. It's actually a stupid. It's actually a stupid rule anyway. Because if I was a spectator now, I'm watching this competition, and I'm th and, and now somebody else comes on and does exactly the same and gets a no lift. I'm going to go. Why did that person get a no lift, and why did that person get a good lift? And it's it's embarrassing in a way that, that we've got these referees that are supposed to be internationally qualified. Ah. Uh. Now. Have they overruled again? Ah, so. Now I don't. I don't have a problem. But what I do have a problem is the length of time it's taking for the jury to decide this. I don't. You know. I really don't think another lifter should be about to be on the stage or about to take the bar. For goodness sake, these people. Their whole world has been spent. Their whole lifetime has been spent in the world of weightlifting. It, it, you know, within 60 seconds. I mean, we've all seen the replay. Mm. You know, they're they're sitting literally meters away, in a in a you know a prime position well I think she's kind of smart she knew it was she knew that it was actually a yeah a press out so, so what she's done is now that she's she's allowed the bar to go up so that she can buy a bit of time and let's uh, Madeline Yamashi come in so Yamashi who also failed at 125 that's right so she's now coming out for her third attempt third attempt on 125 She got that far the last time. Can she finish it off? Not today.
So leads are on 122 to go with the 96 is 218. So she's well short of the total she entered. But you have to be within 20 kilos of the total that you entered, otherwise you're in trouble. You could be disqualified, but there's no uh, question of that in her case. Just her own disappointment for being so far off the mark. But maybe it'll be smiles all round come Melbourne. So now, real pressure now for Pujari, because if she fails this time, David, it won't be a total. It'll just be... 97 kilos carried forward from the clean and jerk, from the snatch phase, rather. That's better. That is okay. That's okay. So she has a total. Yeah, 217. Oh, my right. Um, no, that's, no, I'm wrong, aren't I? Because that's uh, 100, 225, 223. Sorry. 222. 2.22, sorry about that. We're so used to having computers that work everything out for us when we actually have to do the maths ourselves. Now, she's pushed it up a couple of kilos now. Imahoko. So this would be uh, 232, wouldn't it? It would. If she's successful, but uh, I don't hold out much hope. Although the clean was better. No. So unfortunately, she ends on 225. But we're getting ever nearer to the main course. So this is the moment not to desert us. Stay with us here on Eurosport with David Morgan and myself, David Goldstrom, as we now move ever closer to the finale of this 75-kilo uh, women's championship. Three women who are outstanding. Podobedova of Russia, bronze medal position at the halfway stage, Lu Chung Hong and Zabolit Naya. Still one or two, though, to take their chance, including... Nala Ramadan for Egypt. Brings forward 114 kilos from the snatch phase and now 136. So this for 250. She wanted at least 260. Possible. If she does this, five kilo increase and then another five kilo increase she could get there and at her best she's capable of 145 that's a proven weight for her but clearly not in her best form at the moment but coming back towards it but this is the discipline where she ran into trouble in Athens and I think they put her in at a sensible starting weight here so 250 it is Yes, I think that was that was a sensible starting weight. Getting plenty of support from the Qatari. And a little relief. But I, th I think, David, the next one's got to be five kilos. So the bar up to 140 now. And we're getting ever closer to the posted opening lifts of the three women who will surely fight this out. Pot a bit over at 145. Zabolit Naya at 145, but Lu Chung Hong is currently second. If things have gone well, she'll be looking to open at 150. Now, here's... 33-year-old Nora Koppel for Argentina. Three efforts in the snatch phase. Ended up on 115, which is a big improvement on what we've seen from her before. 
So can she now deliver something similar in the clean and jerk phase? Now this is 140, David, which is again starting out here on something like her very best. 136, 140, she's, you know, she's operated in that sort of territory successfully before. But could she go to 150? Pretty strong. So that's 255. 255, actually, David, was exactly what she posted. I, I said 260, but that's not true. 255 is what she was looking for, so she's done that. 237 and a half in the Olympics, 242 and a half in the Pan Americans. Last World Championships, 235. So, as you said, big improvement. Big improvement. Somebody who uh, at, at 33. Yeah, you you would expect to be on the way down. Yes, she was 33 last May. Well, there's hope for you yet, David. <laughs> <laughs> So the 2003 world champion out onto the stage again and 141 it is a five kilo increase so this for uh, 255 now Nora Coppel's on 255 but the Egyptian in picture now is lighter so she would move ahead of the Argentinian. <laughs> Change of technique. Yes, very flat, flat footed, back back foot on the jerk. Instead of being on the toes. But I'm not right in saying that she actually used the split. But it's a sort of, it's a very strange piece of technique, that. It's, it's quite dangerous, especially as the weight gets heavier, because it's, it's very easy to twist your knee with the, with the foot in that position. But she's made it. <laughs> but she seems pretty happy, so she's clearly not, not in top, top form, but she seems pretty happy with what, what, what she's doing for the level of training that she's at at the moment. So the bar going to, I think, 145 now. 145. To Potter, well, it, yes, it will be Potter, but over. So exactly as planned. So the world records in this class. 152. 152. At senior level, 151 at junior level. Well, the junior world record holder is Lu Chung Hong, who has the 151. The senior world record holder is uh, China's Sun Ruping, 152. And that actually dates back to 2002, to the Asian Championships in Busan in Korea. So that stood for quite a while, whereas the junior world championship record of 151 that was set by Lu Chung Hong this year in Busan in the Junior Worlds. Before all of that though, Nora Koppel, Koppel I should say. Yeah, this would put her on 260, it's a huge best for her. Tranquila, my pecho. Very good, very good. So she's having a pretty good day. But she's having an amazing day. Well, she's still got one more attempt to go. And I think that's enough to finish off Ramadan. Yeah, I don't think... Uh... Well, Ramadan... 
where's she going to go? 146? Well, but, but even whatever Ramadan does, Nora's got the chance to answer back. So a little private competition going on before the uh, top three come out onto the stage. So 145 plus 114 would give her 259. It would be just one kilo short of a posted target. But it would be a good recovery considering what she did in the snatch, which was relatively modest by her standards. She's clearly happier with the clean and jerk, but I still think this is quite a big question for her at this moment. Yes, I think she might, she may manage to, to complete the first phase, but I just can't see her succeeding with the second phase. Well, she's defied you. Uh, <laughs> She's done it. Amazing. Really wouldn't have given that to her, but uh, that's a good sequence. And as you say, puts her on 259, so just one kilo less than the 260 that uh, the coaches had put in for her. And it does suggest that, you know, maybe she is on her way back. She was world champion the year before Athens Olympics. The Athens Olympics, that went badly for her. She is second by a kilo to Nora Koppel of Argentina, who's still got one lift, but it looks to me as if Nadia Ramadan is going to go home and take quite a lot of positives out of this competition. And uh, it's a teammate uh, whose name escapes me for the moment, who lifted earlier in the championship. Now, Zabolit Naya, and she posted 145. But this is 148. Oh, oh, Just oh, oh. push Joe. Well, considering that's only four kilos below the world record, I think that's uh, a bit of a message she sent out there. Well, a little earlier in the day... Well, that's Russia. actually a total world record. 140... 148, 278, isn't it? Yeah. So... Very, very strong in the second phase. Just, just not even bothering to spit, just a push press. Well, I told you right from the beginning of this championship broadcast that this is the woman that I was really looking forward to seeing because she really has impressed me every time she's gone on the stage. Only Pavina Thongsuk got the better of her at the Olympic Games, and that was as a result of body weight. She beat Popova, another great Russian in the Olympics. Now Podobadova, first clean and jerk, 149. Now remember that she was six kilos down on her teammate, so this would reduce it to five, and she is lighter. So Podobadova, who posted 145 as an opener, clearly she feels that her warm-up's gone well. Well, it's there, and it's good. So she takes the lead in the clean and jerk. And remember, Lu Chung Hong, she's yet to start. She posted 150 as her starting weight. And Lu Chung Hong, who was a 69-kilo lifter, snatched 153 kilos. And this year in the Junior Worlds, on her way to gold there, Snatched 151, which is the junior world record. Well, it was. It isn't any more. Uh, well, it is at the moment, yes. 
because 148 has been lifted, so she's still the junior world record holder. And here she is, 150 kilos on the bar. But of course, more significantly, this won't put her in the lead. No, but it'll reduce the gap from four kilos to two kilos. It's going to be close. It's going to be very tight indeed. So opening at just two kilos under the clean and jerk world record. So. A little more tension in the hall now. This is the woman who has taken the last five major championships she's entered. The Olympics, Junior Worlds, Universities, Asians. They've all come the same way to her, whether it be at 69 kilos and now at 75. But can she make it six in a row? So she's taken the lead in the clean and jerk. She's all of three kilos and more, lighter than our major two opponents. But they know, she knows, she's in a real fight with these two Russians now. There's no messing around now, David. Everybody's going to be at maximum. You look at Zabolit Naya. Well, we've Follow got one, over. two, three, four. We've got six clean and jerks left in this competition, and we're now at 153 kilos, which is a new world record. Six, so there's going to be at least six attempts, assuming that everybody's going to take all their lifts. At a new world record. And all of the three women you're watching are juniors, so... It is absolutely phenomenal. 18-year-old Podobadova, 20-year-old Lu Chung Hong, and 20-year-old Natalia Zabolatnaya. So 153. Yeah, clean and jerk and total record this will be. This will put her on 283 kilos. Which is 10 kilos above the previous world record. Huge. This is more than double body weight. Oh, no. No, no, no. So the first chink in the armor. She's very, very strong at getting the weight up there, but it's this. The problems have always, always come when it's actually there, when all the work is done, that actual stabilising and keeping the weight fixed overhead. So surely she's going to need to take that again, which means that then the Chinese will need 100, 100 and... Uh, well, she's two down at the moment, 100, 155. No, because if, no, if she does this. Oh, right. If she does it. Mm. Well, the Chinese lifter at the moment's got 150, so she's narrowed the gap to two kilos, but uh, here's the forgotten woman. Oh, yes, I said six attempts at the world record, but, but, but it's actually going to be seven. Th this is huge. Well, this is dropping. astronomical. I mean, this is eight kilos up on her last attempt. Well, she, I'll tell you what, she's got to have some belief in herself. This is, this is outer space compared to anything she's ever done. Good effort when you consider though where where she was. <laughs> well it was a, 
I suppose what she decided is, I, I, I am where I am. I'll take a lift for nothing and see what happens. She's now just discovered exactly what 153 kilos on the bar feels like. And it's... Um, it wasn't a million miles away. So that's the second try at the world record clean and jerk. Leaves are on uh, 260. 260 is five kilos above where she wanted to be, so pretty good. Four out of six, so she should be not unhappy. Nora Cobble from Argentina, and we're, as you said, David, everything here is a world record attempt. Well, the bar's gone up to 155 now. Well, this is real high stakes poker. Zabolit Nair taking time. Meanwhile, here comes her teammate. Now, the big difference here is that this would close the gap and she would go into the overall lead because this is a seven kilo advantage. She's lighter than Zabolit Nair anyway. And it would be a world record oh. clean jerk and total. Yeah. So, so this would be a turnaround. Cleans well. Very well prepared. Now, come on. Oh. <laughs> well, wow. look at that. So that is a total of 207. Uh, am I right? 279. She had 124, 155, 279 kilos. Yeah. So new clean and jerk world record and a new total world record. 279 puts her one kilo ahead of her teammate Zabolit Nair, who has denied herself the opportunity of going for 153 again. So this is real high stakes. And she's still got another attempt to come. Yeah, absolutely. And you've got nice. Liu Chong Hong here on 276. So what's on the bar now? 155. So this so is this for put her on 281 and put her into the lead and give her a new world record on the total, but not the clean and jerk, because obviously the Russian holds that because she did it first. What a finale. Come on, Lu Chong Hong, champion of champions. Oh, yes, it's there. 281. Asked and answered. So and China go back into the lead now. And she's still got a lift to come. Well, they've all got a lift to come. What a championship, David. So two Russians, one Chinese, all with a lift to come. And uh, China leading... <laughs> But uh, I wouldn't put money on it that she's going to stay there. Well, we saw it a little earlier in the day, didn't we? Uh, when we thought that China were going to take the women's 69 kilo class. And it didn't turn out like that. Kasieva came back and responded to Liu, who did nothing wrong, got six out of six. But at the end of the day, in the 69 kilo class by a kilo, Kasieva denied, denied Liu. And now Zabolit Naya with the lift. She has to do this to go back into the lead. It will be a, a huge total record. It will put her on 285 kilos, but she has to do it. Otherwise, she'll be in third place, which is exactly where she is now. So from third to first if she does it. But then, of course, the other two have still got lifts to come. So this is uh, high stakes poker. So the clean is OK, but now it's over just... Look at the weight on that bar. Can she do it? Oh, yes, she can. Hold needs to hold. Oh, needs to stand still. Stand still. I give her that. Yep. Yeah. Got to give her that. So now she's got to wait and see if it was enough. 285 kilos. Coach almost having a, a heart attack there. What a competition, David. This is one of the outstanding women's competitions. Well, you've got the three women that are all uh, superb, all, all record breakers. So. The world record has gone from to, to 285 now. It's now 12 kilos above its previous mark. Well, this is extraordinary now. The Chinese woman is four kilos behind Lu Chong Hong. Well, it says third rank. She's first rank. So. Uh, 
to the bar now on 159. This is this is what she needs to make up the deficit. As well as being a world record clean and jerk, it'll be a world record total, and of course it will put her back into first place. And the only person with another lift left is the is the other Russian. So still two lifts to come in this amazing women's 75 kilo class. So this will take her to 285. She'd go into the lead by virtue of her lighter body weight, and then she just have to wait for the other Russian. But first she's got to lift it. Liu Chong Hong. The Olympic 69 kilo champion, the reigning junior world champion at 75 kilos. Come on, Liu Chong Hong has done it. She's denied Zabolik Naya. What a fantastic competition. Now, this is truly world class. This is the competition of the championship so far. No question. But it's not over yet. <laughs> This is absolutely outstanding. This is women's weightlifting at its very finest. Three superbly prepared athletes, three super strong women. Two of them at 20, one of them only 18. And it's the 18 year old now who has the chance Will it be a sixth major championship in a row for Liu Chong Hong? Or will 18-year-old Svetlana Podobadova of Russia, the European champion, who's... Well, she's going for it. She's had the, the bar's been raised to 162 kilos. Her previous best total, David, 262 and a half kilos. She does this, she breaks the world record clean and jerk, the world record total, and she takes the championship. Now, what a, what a phenomenal ending this would be. So this is for 286 kilos. She needs that extra kilo because she's heavier than Liu Chung Hong. It's as simple as that, but it's never as simple as that. But the two previous efforts, she's cleaned well, and she's been really strong overhead. So, China or Russia? Oh, well, this would be incredible. It's who wants it most, who's got the strength. Svetlana Podobadova or Liu Chung Hong? Out. She needs to, needs to breathe. No. no. It is unbelievably Liu Chung Hong who's prevailed. The Russians. A second and third, and it's got a little close to the windpipe there. She gave it absolutely everything. It was a fantastic clean. Phenomenal. I mean, uh, this is easily the best, the, the easy the class of the championship. I mean, three women that actually, David, all deserve to be to be world champion. They all broke the total record at some point. They all deserve to be world champions. Yeah, she ends and unfortunately on, only one. She ends on 274. 155 to go, sorry, 279, I do her an injustice. Uh, 279, which is a fantastic, that is six kilos up on the old world record. Now at Zabolik Naya, 285, that is 12 kilos up on the old world record, but it is Liu Chung Hong, you're looking at the clean and jerk results there. It's yet another triumph for China, but in Liu Chung Hong, who moved up from 69 kilos to 75 this season, you are looking at a fantastic athlete. An athlete who won the world title at 69 kilos, 63, uh, sorry, 69 kilos in 2003.